Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Wednesday, October 8, 2008. This morning I'd like to go through how to do something that came up on one of the mailing lists recently, which is how to dynamically add and delete columns from a data set. So here I have a bottom feeder interface, and the reason I have it up is that I have a data set here, and in here I have this column, this column, this column. Now, watch carefully what happens when I hit the All New button. It changes this to have four columns, and it also changes the rest of the UI, but the important part is four columns, and then if I hit this button, it goes back to three columns. Now the question you want to ask at this point is how does that happen, and that's what we're going to go through. So let me get rid of this, and I'll go through how that works out. Here's the basic code, add column, and this is just a sanity check to see if I've already done that. And the way it really does it is to add column from this spec, and then tosses it in. So let's go into that method. So first we get the actual widget that contains the subcanvas, and then from within the subcanvas we get the data set itself. And then we get the table descriptors, as it were, the column descriptions. And once we have those, we can get the actual spec, which we grabbed from the class side of this. I'll show you that in a moment. And then all I do is I add that to the current builder. So I just add that column that I've got in, and then I set the column descriptors to the new columns that came in with that, and I'm all set. Now to show you where that zoomed column spec came from, let's go to the class side and we'll just go all the way down towards the bottom. And you see here, zoomed column spec. All it is, is the piece of a widget spec. So when I had the window spec for the entire UI, I just extracted this out and saved it in a method. Now let's go back over here and take a look at the removal code. So coming in here you have remove column and it pretty much reverses things. I get the sub canvas, I get the actual data set from within the sub canvas, I grab the columns, and then all I do is remove the one. In this case I'm always removing the first one, but it doesn't really matter. Just remove whichever one it is you want and then set the data set's columns to the new columns after you've removed something from it. This invalidates this. And what that means is I take the widget, tell it, hey, you need to redraw yourself, and then it will automatically refresh itself. And then I just, again, set the sanity checking code. So that's really all there is to it. And once I've done all that, then you can get this kind of effect again. So I'll bring this back up. I'll come in here, three columns, hit this button, four columns. And that's really all there is to it. So I hope you enjoyed that for today, and we'll leave it there.